Hey, I'm Lee, and you're tuned in to Once to Watch North Slide Sessions. I'm trying to figure things out. Thought I'd be okay on my own. But I've been lying, lying to myself. That's so quiet and cold. I've been dreaming all along. I'm side to hold Haven't hit love in a love in a while The next one that's good to me My way in my heart Haven't hit love in a love in a while The next one that's good to me My way in my heart oh, oh. For someone who doesn't love me When the saying sweet lies open me But I still believe I've been dreaming all along And it feels so lonely, lonely I just need somebody by my side Haven't hit love in a love in a while The next one that's good to me My way and my heart Haven't hit love in a love in a while The next one that's good to me My way and my heart oh, oh. I started music when I was younger. I liked to sing a lot as a child and I think I was actually really bad at it for a long time and I had friends that sang so I would sing with them a lot and then I think it kind of helped me to improve my voice and then I guess when I first started writing was when I really started getting into music more and I would go to open mics and do my own songs and perform them and it went on from there. When I first started performing my own songs it was like a really good feeling because you're finally, you're getting to sing your own words instead of someone else's and I really like that. I'm, I'm very new into the whole Canadian music scene and it's been um, a really great experience so far and I'm excited to learn more about it. I've done a lot of recording in Toronto and Montreal and I, I kind of want to go back to Montreal and start doing more there because I've, I've done a lot of Toronto and it's been great but it'd be nice to start working from home as well. I think for the longest time I was just creating out of my own home and with like piano and, and guitar but I, I've never been like those were kind of just like backup instruments to get my ideas out but I, I wasn't too good at them so now that I've been collaborating with different producers and writers and I've been able to experience a different aspect of music and I really love that. Milk and Honey um, well I'm like really happy that it's finally out there it's been a song that I wrote a while ago maybe a bit over a year ago um, and it was great because I did that while I was on a trip in LA and 
that, that experience itself was like really amazing for me because I'd, I'd never really gone elsewhere to do music. So um, working out of LA was in its own way like magical. And then I got to work with a producer duo called FNZ, Fanatic and Zach. And those guys were great. I'd worked with them before and it's always been great working with them. And for this song, I co-wrote it with a, a woman named Lauren Christie and she is a great writer and we just, I think we clicked right away and it wrote itself pretty quickly. And it was just really cool working with her as well because she had done a lot of Avril Lavigne stuff in the past and that I grew up listening to. So it was just a really great, great experience. My first concert was actually the Jonas Brothers, <laughs> like a long time ago, yeah. Um, I remember my mom surprised me and my sister with tickets for it and it was really cool. <laughs> There's a bunch of different artists that I'd really love to go on tour with, but um, I've been listening a lot to Daniel Caesar and I think that would be a, an amazing experience. Um, I've also I've been waking up listening to a lot of um, Leon Bridges and I, like, I love his music too, so that would just be an amazing experience to be on tour and have that every, to start every day with that. Um, but yeah, there's just there's a lot of artists, different artists that I'd love to have that opportunity. So right now, I'm continuing to finish up the album. I'm back in the studio. Um, at the same time, October 5th, I'll be releasing my next song. Um, it's called Haven't Had Love, and it's one that I wrote, I guess, around two years ago now. Um, and when I wrote it, it was when I was in a really lonely place, so it's interesting being able to put that out now and be out of that, that place, but it brings me right back there. And I think it's also the first one that I'm putting out that I, I wrote like solely myself, so I'm excited to have it out and I hope it helps other people.